<laughs> that that is that your favorite song recently? That's why you keep humming. I'm just really glad that you finally get over XG. XG on everything you do, you do what a one. Um, because I can forgive you for your oh, personal sorry. color nonsense. Nonsense? Why nonsense? Personal color is just like it's myth. Personal color is life. It's myth. I. You think you're gonna find a man in your life that you're gonna end up with? That's a myth. Just kidding. <laughs> no need to attack oh. me. I. Hey, that's my personal. I don't talk about you and your fashion. I let you do your fashion stuff. But why is it when I want to talk about I personal color? I do work color? in fashion. I know you do, and I don't say anything about that. But whenever I talk about personal color, all of a sudden it's eye rolling. It's talking shit. It's just a personal color. Every time I, I see my friends sitting here talking about a superstition, I just, superstition. I just feel like you know, <laughs> he said superstition. I'm dead. Yeah, like beauty is superstition. I just feel like shall shall I like tell you the truth or if someone else tell you, then I don't think you could take it well. That's why, as a good friend, I just feel like maybe um, and you keep accusing me of being a a spring bright. I am spring a light. Whatever that is, different. I am a winter deep. I'm just winter like deep? actually. Usually, uh, people that are winter deep, they can wear spring light sometimes. That just proves how uh, how deep winter I am. I'm just like you know the Game of Thrones. I'm the Red Witch. Edward. Yes. You're gonna have to come back on my channel. We're gonna have to redo it again because mm. apparently you don't want to believe me. I mean, it's not. I don't want to believe you. It's just you don't want to accept the fact that you're spring light. It's just I'm winter deep And we kept talking about it Anyway we, so We're like the parallel lines We'd never cross It's very upsetting you know Smarter smarter baby I don't know Whatever that song is da, 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 da. For me Yeah I think it's the way Smarter is pronounced I think that's the only thing I don't like about that song Smarter Smarter Sounds uh, like wa Like A lot of people were saying It sounds like Tyler's water Oh yeah, but it's not. I heard that people they're they're accusing the sound of plagiarism. Plagiarism? I don't think it is. I think the 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 genre is the same as water, but to me it sounded more like uh, Doja Cat's woman. Oh yeah, that they, they were saying that it's, it's, it's plagiarizing Doja Cat's song instead of. I don't, Swift. Yeah, I don't think it was plagiarizing. I think the melody line is very similar, but um, I can tell they got a lot of inspiration from water. When La Cerfa came out with um, Fearless uh, with that Kevin Klein sort of looking in New York City vibe mm -hmm. um, it's giving Maybelline video. ad for me yes Maybelline <laughs> exactly when the like the car drops and everything oh, or uh, uh, get the London look yes <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is Rimmel London with, with the logo. This is just exactly the mm. Calvin Klein campaign, mm -hmm. like, but it, old one, not the even new one. I think that's my favorite part about La Seraphim. It's always their teasers. La Seraphim. La Seraphim. La Seraphim. <laughs> like giving the, Seraphim. The, op the opening of the Netflix vibe. Oh La yeah, yes. <laughs> La Seraphim. La Seraphim. But later on, they, uh, I think they, La Seraphim did find their identity. Uh, mm. They really stands out from all the other groups, a uh, girl groups. I felt like uh, the fourth generation girl groups have each group girl groups have really even though there are a lot of girl groups coming out, but each group do have their own style mm -hmm. and their own unique concepts, which I love. Mm -hmm. It does not feel like you know, before um, there are a lot of girl groups coming out, they all feel the same. I feel like yeah. now they they know what they're doing because the industry has been matured so much, which I love. I just you know what really. Um, makes me happy is I felt like wow the girl groups are going so strong where are the boy groups but uh, as I have mentioned previously with with uh, the new groups coming out like Rise and mm -hmm. To Us mm -hmm. I just feel like oh, we are we are Moving getting on. a wave of you know, the renaissance of boy, boy group yeah yeah. also I feel like what an uh, observation I feel like I've made is that recently the groups that are really popping off these days a lot of the creative directors are younger like not necessarily younger, but they have a more fresh take on concepts and like, I don't know. I mean, it's an industry Visual targeted stuff. for young, younger Well, yeah, but, but that is that too. Uh, but also I'm just comparing them in my head to these other companies where their staff is basically just a bunch of ajashis that think they know what they're doing, but the AR yes. sucks. Mm -hmm. Like the music just does not, does not hit. The Kinyang, I can Kinyang. name a few, yes. <laughs> Who? We all have seen it. Who? We've we've been been to the companies. We've seen the deputies, ah! the, the, the CEOs, and we know, uh, yeah. And we can we can sense mm -hmm. how the where the group is going. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I just feel like they've 
they worked in that Korean company wide environment mm-hmm. for a very long time. Previously, they might worked in for JYP mm-hmm. or SM, and then mm-hmm. they quit their job, and then they all started. They really be this Korean thing yes. to do. Oh, no, I don't want to make it exclusive to Korea. Like the the idea of like being in a big company and then leaving to make your own. Uh huh. And then, just because you worked in a pre- and they'll use the fact that they worked in a previous company that's big as like. Like, oh, I used to work here. Okay, you don't work there anymore. Mm-hmm. Now what? It's just a platform which pro- provides you a lot of resource. It does make you look good while you're working there, but what once you quit, it really it shows how mm-hmm. much you've got, uh-huh. really. Yes, oh, yeah. Once, once you've lived the, the platform. Yep. And a lot of people have a lot of confidence in them, um, meaning that they thought they could you know, produce a very successful group. Mm-hmm. But what we've seen is, I we felt like the concept and everything is so out, like outdated, outdated, or they don't know how to market properly. The, in the world of content, they don't know how to make content. Even the idol themselves are very upset because of yeah, they, they know to, yeah, they, they know better. Yeah, but they could not fight against it because mm-hmm. the company is pushing them to do this. Yeah, have you ever dreamt? Like off producing my your own, own group? group. Um, I thought about it, but for me, I'd rather be more so choosing songs and like more like AR, you know, or maybe like content creation, shit like that. Like um, PD content creation. Uh, it could be that, or it could just be in general. Like if other people had toss ideas, what I think would be cool. I just feel like companies are just so lazy and they have no in a sense also mm. no sense of what's not necessarily what's popular but picking the type of content that would show off their idols really well right if they want to collab with youtubers i know i'm a youtuber as well but i just feel like it really helps um but they're so opposed to working with anybody that unless they have like a big following it's i feel like it's very limiting but girl just like get them out the, the main point is just to get their name out there You've been saying this a lot, and I, I can really see um, how upset you, yeah. you must have. I don't want it to. I don't want to make it sound like I'm bitter because they don't want to collaborate with me if the collaboration doesn't work. But it's more just like I wish they had more exposure in this day and age of YouTube, and not just doing TikToks. I know we talk mad shit about TikTok, but TikTok can help too. But there's also YouTube, and I feel like with YouTube, you can at least get more of like a sense of the people themselves, the idols. TikToks, you just film one cute like dance talent, you know, like. Mm-hmm. You know, I know, but this is like, is that, yeah, it's like giving like personality. Mm-hmm. Maybe the follow myth are cute, but like, does that translate to music sales or whatever? Not saying that being on my channel will make them like sell them albums, but I don't know. I feel like there's just more substance with YouTube at least, but in general, whatever, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. I just feel like companies need to really tap into that because even BTS, that's how they really blew up. Yes, they had a lot of content. Contents. Yeah. But the thing is, even if they do make content, sometimes it's like really shitty content where it's just like boring. Mm. You know, oh man, I don't know. We're enforced and very, contrived. very enforced and contrived, and just like getting in there the game. Mm. But like, there is a uh, there is an untold script going on, mm-hmm. and people people just look uh, uncomfortable in the in mm-hmm. the vlogs. The the day I filmed the video with the idol group, and I saw the the girlies in the back writing down stuff they want me to take. I was like, it's over for these girls. It's over for these girls. Mm, they're like puppets popping out wars and mm-hmm. people are preparing for them. Yeah. It's it's giving second gen generation. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. Second gen, they make great music, but but that nowadays mean- I do feel like um, the fans need to because with so many groups coming mm-hmm. out, and uh, now uh, I I feel like the fans needs to see their 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 stands or the the new groups. Uh, when they first come, they need to see the personalities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Rather than an, an image and a company mm-hmm. prepared for them to perform mm-hmm. on the stage. Actually, uh, the group, I, the virtual group I mentioned to you in the last episode, Playboo, they do a lot of. Uh, they were on Twitch, but after Twitch closed down in Korea, they moved over to YouTube, I think. But they get like 30, 30 35 k viewers on the thing, mm-hmm. and I think it does help that they're virtual, so there's no, there's less chance of you know someone fucking up or whatever yes uh because they have that sort of virtual thing as like a mask in a way but a lot people love them for their personalities on there but the thing is i really need to check it out yeah Yeah. even companies fucking like these days idols back when v live was a thing or whatever now they do youtube streaming they always have staff in the back behind the camera making sure they're watching what they're doing and they're always like doing the most oh tmi yo tmi oh okay you drank okay what what else i don't know Oh well. There's no there's no specific way you have to do live streaming, content, whatever, but 
I feel like a lot of and I was I collaborated I collaborated with this artist recently and he was telling me about how back when he was an idol the company was just like constantly just like pushing them down and it's, it's like a very just, um, controlling possessive parents telling you what to do mm-hmm. and it just makes you it, it makes you feel shitty bro mm-hmm. you just don't want to do anything at that point because mm-hmm. it's like you know the company's gonna talk shit about that plus if you're not doing that well Mm-hmm. Um, in yeah. terms of the sales or popularity wise and mm-hmm. you don't you really you I think uh, if I were that person I would really lose my direction oh yeah I'm listening to the company well, like the, what they asked me to do but mm-hmm. nothing had been working out for me same as parents like pushing their children to all these hug ones after school mm-hmm. academics mm-hmm. Um, and then telling them to do this and to that and then mm-hmm. their life turned out to be not as great and they yeah. will blame on their parents mm-hmm. because that's what you asked me to do yeah yes mm-hmm. i'm just glad that i didn't listen to my parents yeah, look where you and, are now uh, on double d I'm, yes i'm responsible for my uh, me- messed up life now but oh, um, you're about to say meth addiction i was like no. what i have never i have never done drugs in my life can't wait to go down that 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 rabbit hole uh it's just a <laughs> That's how you. No, that's what? Not, that's not how you do it. You just sound like you're blowing your nose. Oh, uh, because I, wa- I watched on U- Euphoria. That's how people what? do it. Like how Jensen Dad was like. That's how she does it. No? Oh wow. That's how, no. Have you done it? I thought I was watching Dune two just now. <laughs> Come on, Dune part two with my blue contact lens. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, that whole movie. I was just thinking about how much how itchy their noses must be. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of sand <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was in Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was with my coworker. Mm-hmm. Um, she she got super excited to um, before she um, she's about to go to Amsterdam because mm-hmm. she knew that marijuana use and you know mushrooms mm-hmm. are legal in Amsterdam. Though, as a Chinese or an Korean person, even though you do it overseas, it's still illegal really? because they do random check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. After you came back, there's to that Korea. risk. Yeah, yeah, uh, in the airport. Yep. But anyway, she uh, decided to to do mushroom, and then she bought like two packs. And then she gave me one before she left um, Paris. Really? Yeah. Because uh-huh. she's leaving uh, before me. And then what, she's you like, just eat it? Uh, uh, yeah, you just eat it. Wow. And you wait. And I did not do it. That sounds scary, though. I, I, I threw it away. What? If, yeah. yeah. Good, good job. Yes. If you were going to do it, I'd rather you do it in a safe environment. Because what if something happened to you? <laughs> okay, Regina, Regina George's mom. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather you do it in the house. Uh, <laughs> with your eyes like... Doing like, this. where else would you do it? Like... Uh, my friend was recommending me to do it in the house because uh, she ate the mushroom and then we went out because mm. she was waiting for the cake to mm. kick in. Um, but she, for some reason, it did not kick in. And so we went to a restaurant and then we drink a little bit and then it kicks in. And then she told me the experience was like she she saw like hallucinations mm. and can she see things that appeared in front of her and then she wants to like reach it. If um, I'm doing it for the first time, she highly recommended uh, me to do it in the house because yeah, yeah. she felt like it will be safer if you do it indoor, where you know you will you know you that you're like not run gonna... into the street or something. Yes, because yeah. Amsterdam there is a like rivers. Uh, yes, uh, you might you, might you fall know in. you fall in and uh, yeah. Speaking of falling into the river, I've been playing a lot of Tomb Raider lately. What is Tomb Raider? The movie, the game, the what, Laura, Laura Croft. Oh, oh, mm. the. The one break, one side yeah. and then doing Majo, like zip lines Majo, Majo, Majo. with mummies. Yeah, like have you it, ever played it? Uh, I've seen my brother playing oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. The, they recently came out with a remaster of the first three games. Um, basically, improved graphics and new control scheme, but same shit. It's literally the exact same. It's a remake of the originals. Just mm-hmm. uh, they included the new modern controls, and then. But you know, uh, graphics, the but... good games, old good games are always good. You, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So you did it, you threw it away, and so that's your, and that was your foray into drugs. Yeah. That was, yeah okay, I, uh, you've never done drugs like that before? I have never done drugs. Marijuana, hanjuk No. No. Have you? I've had a cookie. But I heard cookies are stronger than how you, yeah, when you babes. smoke it. Smoke it. Is I, it I, stronger? I stronger? find out the hard way. I had to find out the hard way. How? What was your um? What's your reaction to it? Because I'm really curious. Kyle, what's... All I remember was I was dating a guy at the time, actor. So we we're in L. A. And he had a shooting for a drama that day. So I, he was like, "Oh, just stay in the hotel room," and that's what I did. He's like, "If you're bored, you can eat this." Oh my god. I was like, okay. But what ended up happening? I got bored. So I was like, mm, I, I got curious. So I don't want to get too crazy though. So I took a little. I took not even half. It was like. 
a quarter piece. How big it was? It, it, just, it looked like a regular cookie, like the kind of cookie you get from a Subway oh, sandwich, right? So it was like this big. Ish. Anyway, I don't know why, but I assumed I was gonna have like an immediate effect. But obviously that's not the case. You gotta wait, but nothing happened. So I was like, "What the fuck?" It, another quarter, nothing. Obviously, it, but it was, this is only within the span of like two or three minutes. So uh -huh. I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. So I was like, "Whatever, fuck it." I ate the whole thing. Mistake number one. Well, you, mistake number one was you, you, you even trying. Too, you took too much. Yeah, girl. Probably I should have done it slowly, so, sl slowly, slowly. But you actually did. You ate a quarter first, and then you wait for it, and then not enough. How apparently. slow could it be? Not I enough. See. I should have waited longer. But whenever I was in bed, I was kind of sleepy. Actually, I was about to fall asleep, and all of a sudden, I'm like, "Oh my god, I feel, I feel like I'm floating. I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> like I was, basically, like I was. I felt like I was like getting lifted from the bed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I was like, this is crazy." Crazy. Is this what doing weed is like? So you feel like you're floating, like those flying squirrels, Eddie. like floating? Yeah, Eddie. What? 2.5 seconds later, uh -huh. just a flash of just colors all over. I feel like I have like a Apple Pro Vision Pro on, and all I see is just a flash of like psychedelic colors. Oh. Just flashing before my eyes. I was nauseated. I was dizzy. My mouth, they call it cotton mouth. When you do marijuana, your mouth gets super dry. There's a, a bunch of Gatorade nearby. I just kept chugging the Gatorade because my mouth is just so dry. Nothing helped. Eventually, I had to call my my ex, my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> Help me! Help me! But it was that bad. It was crazy because you're just like a it, combina It felt like you know when you like. Is there a chaser for um, marijuana? Marijuana chaser. For example. For mushrooms, my friend said, mm. if you're going to take it, you then if you cannot handle the hallucination you're taking, a glass of orange juice mm -hmm. or milk, she said it will help. Maybe there might have been, but I didn't have anything. I, I had Gatorade, blue Gatorade, mm -hmm. uh, which funnily enough, I ended up throwing all of it up, and it was just blue. Oh. Yeah. Um, but that reminds me of a scene from the the, the movie Exorcist, but you, or, you may continue. The green. Yes. I mean, I had to call my boyfriend, tell him to come help. Um, because I was just like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Cause it was, you know, when you're like on a ride where it's spinning mm -hmm. and when you get off, you're like dizzy, lose, but it was like basically that vibe. Oh, your hat was so heavy and yeah, heavy. And like, just like my vision, I couldn't cause it's like almost like getting drunk, but 10 times worse. I see. And like, I couldn't, I couldn't properly see in front of me because besides the spinning image, it was also like a bunch of colors, but you know, went to bed was okay the next day, but yeah, I don't think I would ever do that shit again. Probably because I just I too I, much too much. I see, yeah. and the fact that it was my first time. Well, I never told anyone this story before. Oh, here we go, here we go. Finally, a new story from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never told this story before. Um, this happened while I was in England, when I I, I lived there for a month. Mm. So I had this one night stand. As per usual, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Oh, so I went to this person's house and he was cute and everything. He was really my type. He looks like Harry Potter. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's Chinese, mm. but he he's giving the Harry Potter vibe because of his glasses. Yes, and he's wow. very clean looking. Okay, which really surprises me because while we're doing it, he um he said Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> you're, I had lost and your dick went. <laughs> I wish that was the case. I don't <laughs> and then she, he took out a bottle of rush. Rush. Uh, I've only uh, seen, mm. I've only seen it in like Japanese porn. I've never tried it in my. They do that in porn. Yeah. They do rush in porn. Yeah. You don't know. I have never seen that. Where 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 does does uh where is the the origin of rush? Like where did I have no idea to be honest. I see. He asked me uh, if. I want to do it, but mm. I was, you know, I'm in the mood of like I'm in London. I'm I'm here for a month, might as well, you know. I because I'm I told myself I've never drug in my life, mm. but Rush is you know very in a gray yeah, area. I, yeah. So I I never tried it, but I, I sort of knew what it is because the, the porn I watched when I was younger. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, how do you do it? And he said, you take, you do this, uh. and then he took it first and he gave it to me, uh. and then I did it. And then have you have you done it before? Mm. You, so the feeling is, uh, for me, it's like yeah. um, 
I, I was drinking alcohol, and yeah. then well, you know how we were drinking alcohol. You have this alcohol breath. Yeah, yeah. So I felt this alcohol breath through yeah. my n- nostril, mm-hmm. and then I felt this hot flush f- like yeah, yeah. floating to my head, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then suddenly it, it came from the head is goes down to my the whole body. Mm-hmm. It felt really hot, heated. Yeah. But it's temporary. It's, it's rather very temporary. temporary. And Which then, is why I, some guys that do it, they get crazy after uh-huh. they're like, oh! And I'm oh, like, okay. girl, it's not that serious. Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not like, that serious. It's really not that serious. Yeah. So you have to do it constantly. Yeah. I heard that if you do it too much, then you, you'll get a really bad Killing brain, headache. Killing brain, brain cells. Oh, really? I don't know. It oh. seems like it to me. So I did like two times because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a chicken. But he was like doing it and everything. And then... Yeah, that's how we uh, we uh, we we did practice safe sex, mm-hmm. and everything was it was res- based on you know mutual uh, re- respect, and um, that's how I tried to rush for the first time. Can you repeat that last sentence in a clear way? Because I don't want to cut that up. Say it again. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was my uh, first experience trying rush, and uh, we uh, did practice safe sex. We mm-hmm. used a condom. Yes, um, and um, we stand that the interest was new. Mutual, mutual and, and um, love is love. Mm-hmm. Come on, Hermione Granger. <laughs> Actually, no, he didn't end up with Hermione. He ended up with uh, Ron's, Ron's sister. Yeah, yeah. Ginny, Ginny, no, yeah, Ginny. That's her name, I believe. Yeah, because she, uh, too long. he dumped the Chinese person, the Chinese girl, Cho Chang. Yeah, <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> J.K. Rowling, why would you do that? The only Asian character, and then you just you just use her as a diversity. What? You know, as a diversity Drama? thing, yeah. I, I, f- I feel like I Cho Chang has no personality. She was used there. <laughs> she was, I think, her character. Are, did you re- are you talking about the book Cho Chang or like the movie Cho Chang? I read the book and I watched the movie. And you felt the same way both ways? I felt like the movie has done it even more dirty. Because <laughs> the Cho Chang does feel like uh, a diversity filler. The Ch- a Chinese, an Asian character that was there. In the movie? Yeah. Well, they had to fill that spot. What, they're going to make a Cho Chang suddenly a white girl? I know, but I feel like. Cho Chang could do a, a much more like she could summon a dragon. Oh, do something cooler. Uh, uh, yes, I but know. unless she did that in the book, she's not gonna do that in the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, okay. I'm just, I'm a person that uh, I'm a left winger who complains too much, so I should um just be quiet. Maybe. What? <laughs> if you were left wing or whatever, wouldn't you be happy that she was in there? I'm happy in there, but I just feel a little bit uncomfortable. And she was just used for the, you know, the purpose of, of? adding um, an Asian character into. There was an Asian character in there originally. What do you mean? I know. For diversity? I know. The, the book, too. The book, too. I don't think that was the case. I think she literally just wanted to put her in there. You know what? I, uh, I think. And also, uh, she just happened to be a Chinese character. It's not like they made a big deal about it. Yeah, yeah. They, they did, yeah. I, I, I'm just I will say it was rather interesting that they had that in there. I was like, Cho Chang, they have an Asian in here? But I don't think, you know, it was... Yeah, but when I was little, I was reading the book. <laughs> why, you thought I, you were like, I, no. they're just putting her in there for diversity? <laughs> That's no, what you thought? When I was little, I found out that Harry's, Harry Potter's girlfriend uh, was Chinese. I'm like, oh, that could be me. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Hi, Harry. Um, I'm Rongo's son. I'm prettier than Cho Chang. I'm more capable than uh, what she can do. And... Um, could you please uh, take me into your consideration? <laughs> How'd you go from go, what? what? Take listen, listen, harem? Yeah, is this a harem? <laughs> oh, anyway, um, the rush experience was nice, and the London trip was definitely one of my yeah. finest moments. I've to- <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. So the the moral of your story is you just tried rush. Because you said you talked about your first time trying okay, mar- but the way o- you OD'd marijuana. That was such a... You you built that up to be like, I've never told this story before. <laughs> so I thought I was going to have some fantastic way, <gasps> but you're just like, there, there are well, I tried of, it. There are a lot of horrible stories, and you know that I cannot tell in front of the podcast because... Um, you don't want, you don't want to look bad? Um, Meanwhile, you're out here talking about my dumpster every fucking episode. <laughs> the dumpster story is cute. And it was lighthearted. You say that the way Koreans use the word "cute." Oh my god! The same way people say "kawaii" for things that are just like silly. Yeah, the, if I have that dumpster story, I will tell in front. I I told you my the car sex story in front of the church, right? That's not that crazy though. The car sex? Just, yeah, in front of church at What's night. What's wrong with that? And it, it was shigore. It's not even soul. So what? 
the irony of the story is funny, but there's mm-hmm. nothing dirty about that. Yeah, there's nothing. So, so I told about it. Okay. But it, as it's, it's the same thing as the nature of your dumpster story. It has it's, it's harmless. It's very cute. It's lighthearted. But not not in the way that you bring it up every time. All oh, right, like the way you had a sex bond in dumpster. <laughs> yeah. As if uh, I'm like a dirty person or me. I'm just um. Um, I'm just amazed by how the choice of location is. Uh, well, oh, just hope so. We had no other choice because that's all we had for coverage. <laughs> because it was literally like a regular like neighborhood, and that was the only thing that we could like go behind. Uh, so you guys are, aren't you guys are more aroused by this the sense of the smell of the 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 hygiene's. Uh, what do you think about people that have sex in public spaces? The ones that go to like public bathrooms and they fuck, that get excited by that. I think that's weird. I felt like public. Uh, public b- bathrooms It's definitely Absolutely disgusting I don't understand why I mean there's some Clean bathrooms in Korea People go there To take a dump Or pee Like you smell it And then people Go and okay. come back Where are you going? Are you going to places Where people are not flushing Or there's clogged toilets Obviously they could be Doing it in a clean bathroom But for me It's just the idea Of doing it in a public Whether it's a bathroom Or not Like even I've seen it Like parks I've seen. I've been on Twitter, the gay Korean Twitter. There, there be people like pulling all, taking all their clothes off, and just. Oh, I know what you mean. But those people are. Um, they have that ass in holes right at the camera. They 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 have the desire of. Um, I think there is a disorder called it. There, disorder. There, there's a disorder. Uh, it's like re- releasing having the, having the desire of showing off your the nudity. Is that uh, just it, a kink? What do you mean disorder? Uh, it's a, it's a fetish. Kink. Fetish. There is a name for it. There's an academic name for that kind of. But it's uh, a disorder. It's a kink or something. Disordered kink are two completely different things. Uh, okay, maybe not as severe as disorder. Maybe it's. Uh, but there's a there's a specific name for it. Like no true public something exposure. like exposure. Yeah, then so you're addicted to. Mm. Then you 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 really want to. Why? Yeah, it's like a psychological thing. The same thing with my ADHD. I people just have it, I guess. That's interesting, but that type of thing almost come seems like it's it stems from some way that they grew up. That's how the same thing is. Um, when you see a girl has some problem with oh she has daddy issues. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that person is very completely normal, has a has a job, you mm-hmm. know, nine to six job, and came from a, like a, a good school, but still had that. But when it comes down to mm-hmm. sexual activity mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. or relationships, maybe it relates to oppression mm-hmm. than they had when maybe. they were younger. That's what I think sometimes, mm-hmm. especially with like. Uh, I was never oppressed, so I didn't. You you weren't right. In terms of what. Because you don't have the you don't you don't take your pants off in front of the park at oh, night. Oh, you're talking about uh, uh, post on uh, Twitter. I guess so maybe. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. I, I just feel like you know the more oppressed mm-hmm. people they were when they were younger. Mm-hmm. Once they have the sense of freedom, they're a part of the society, and they they're away from their parents. They are financially dependent, mm-hmm. so they could they have the choice of doing what they can, mm-hmm. and then. They unleash the inner desire, maybe in a yeah. overdosed way. Yeah, yeah I, see I guess. What you mean. Yeah. Overcompensating almost. I I don't know. Kind of how I feel about when people are overly touchy with me. Mm-hmm. I know I was not. This, oh my god! I almost said I was not touched as a child, but that sounds so wrong. I mean, like like parents, like you know, mm-hmm. caring for the, like physical touch, like hugging and stuff like that. I guess that's why I like hugging now. Mm-hmm. People think I'm a cold bitch, but when I say bye, I like to give a hug. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when they're overly touchy, you get uncomfortable. Almost where I feel not in the sense of like ill, like you're harassing me. More like like I feel like there's something going on. Oh, I see. Like. Like that there's person a, might be interested. Not even that, but just like there's some ulterior motive. Oh, like what do they want from me? They, oh, do people get over touchy though? There's some people. I see. There's some people that are just really touchy. Like my friend from Twenty, the artist. Mm-hmm. He's really touchy. I know, like on cameras on our videos, it's probably like like for jokes and stuff. But but it, it doesn't give the creepy vibe. It's more just like uh, you know, sarangsuro, like mm-hmm. oh, friendly. Oh, I. But I he's, know. it's a lot of I, like. You know, this. I know what you're saying because a lot of straight um, Korean guys very touchy. Knowing though, even though they know that you're you're gay, that they're still being very touchy. They're just being themselves because a lot of straight Korean guys they're so uncomfortable with themselves. being themselves. They're they're just acting like 
they don't act weird around gay guys. They in just gen- do it yeah, in general, though, a lot of straight Korean guys are just, uh, in general, guys, a lot of guys in Korea can be very touchy. Know, very touchy. Yeah, they just love skinships. But uh, in America in, or in the West, it's very much seen as like, Oh, personal bubble, personal space. Yes. Um, even with your fr- close friends, you don't do that. You don't really do that often. Yeah. Or a lot of people are scared to be accused of being gay. Mm-hmm. So it's a very thin line, to be honest. Sometimes I feel like, oh, yeah, this is being like friendly Korean, mm-hmm. like touchy. Sometimes like, what, what? Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I do feel like it's a little bit across. The Having line. grown up in the West, how do you take that when like a Korean guy um, is being very skin chippy, very touchy feely? Um, For me, I think it's kind of similar to what I was telling you earlier about how I'm like, what's the motive? <laughs> like, uh, I think um, it's harmless, it's lighthearted. Mm-hmm. I don't want to think of uh, mm-hmm. as that way. If I'm in a, in, I'm in Korea, but if I know that person has international background, like growing up outside of Korea, and they they might know, then I will think the way that you think. They want to fuck me. <laughs> Just kidding. No, the person <laughs> might have an ulterior motive. Mm-hmm. Now I'll be like. Look, if you're gonna do it, then oh, I'm gonna, he said, I'm gonna charge. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, I think there is some nuance though, like the way they, you know, physically touch you. Mm. You know, there's somewhere where it's just like around the shoulder. Nowadays they, they don't they don't do it, but in our generation, mm. when we grew up uh, as high schoolers, you would just suck each other's dicks. No, that's not no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I, I think in girls, mm. girls will literally, they're not lesbians, they're really good friends. They're holding Hold hands. hands. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Asian girls. Mm-hmm. But now I don't think they do it anymore. These days, really? They think they would, they'd be mistaken for lesbians. Uh, they, they would do this, like they will hold link arms. Link arms. Uh, but they don't they don't hold hands hold anymore. Hands. Yeah. Mm. In China, it was very common for two girls to hold hands, but mm-hmm. they're not a couple. They're just really good, like sisters, mm, um, yeah. like good friends. Uh, because um, I think homosexualities w- were n- not as common as now. Mm-hmm. When I was growing up, it's like almost like 10, 15 years ago. At least they weren't as open back then as now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think that's definitely yeah. uh, a change. I think girls are more like even more touchy because there, there's really no room now? before, before, uh, before? before uh, mm-hmm. when we grew up. Yeah. But I feel like. What do you feel like, Edward? I uh, I I'm, need to I need a refill of this coffee. Yeah, honestly, uh, it wasn't enough. Uh-huh. And this is the mega mega size. Don't you just love uh, everything that's in mega size? It's I'm so close, Edward. So yesterday, um, I had uh before my friend's birthday party, me and my friend uh went to get pizza at Bonnie's Pizza. Sounds yummy. I'm low key so ready to make either TikToks or just YouTube content about the fucking restaurants in my neighborhood and how horrible the staff. No, I don't want to say every restaurant is like this, but you think Singapore, more than you think, a lot of the staffs at some of these matip, like these popular restaurants, are fucking assholes for no fucking reason. I've been to Bonnie's Pizza, babes, three weeks ago. Oh yeah, very recently. Uh-huh. And did they have an attitude? I don't remember. Maybe because you you are. But the the thing is, they have like a kiosk now oh. where you put in your order. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you don't really have to interact with the people that much, girl. Well, they they did. If you, if you go to Bonnie's Pizza, go with the fucking laminated eyebrows. You know, because she has sharp ass eyebrows and they're shiny. I don't know why they're shiny, but they're shiny. She does not give a fuck. I, just, I will go in. Look, I, I get it. If you're having a hard day or whatever, and you might be stressed out. I get it. That's why I try to treat the workers, you know, be respectful. Like, oh, yes, yeah, or hello. But it seems like this every time I go, whether it's morning or night, or whatever day, she always has the same fucking stink face and she doesn't give a fuck. In general, a lot of the staff at Body Speed don't give a fuck. Where, especially back then when there was no kiosk, you have to speak to them in English. Fine for me, because obviously I speak English, but I've been seeing these other Koreans to be struggling to communicate because they, the, the staff there, they don't even bother to try to learn Korean. Obviously, there's a lot of foreign workers in Korea. If they're working, actually, have you seen on t- Instagram like the, oh, the, the foreigners working at cafes? Oh, did I actually have met him in person. I met him. I'm, I went to that cafe. I oh, yeah. met him in person mm. first, mm. and then I uh, later on I was I was watching real. So, well, that's him because mm-hmm. I didn't because he he was speaking really good Korean. Yeah. Um, but I didn't. It didn't register to you that he was Weiwugin. Oh no, I, I I knew that he was Weiwugin, but speaking really good. But I didn't want to make a big deal about it. I just mm-hmm. feel like if I were a uh, Weiwugin mm-hmm. and I uh, like a foreigner working in a cafe mm-hmm. as a barista, um, and speaking really good um Korean, mm-hmm. I guess I would get a lot of comments saying that oh you speak really good Korean. I I 
I guess I would get really tired of it. Mm. So why would I be another person like, oh my god, you're so good at Korean? Yeah, yeah. He was just a person, you know. So just be straight and be like, are you top or bottom? <laughs> No, but uh, mask for a mask. <laughs> so obviously, if you're gonna be like him or whatever, if you're gonna be working in Korea, you're gonna learn Korean. Mm-hmm. But these bitches don't learn bother at all. In fact, the only Korean I've ever heard from them is because at bodies there's a B one. Uh-huh. So if there's two, there, there's not enough tables, they'll send them to you know the bottom floor. But I was sitting next to the door with my friend eating our pizza, and I saw I was watching because they have to line up outside because obviously there's no tables. This girl opens the door and she's like, "Tia." Gia, really? Gia, like B1, B1. Like she doesn't even bother saying like a full sentence of like, oh, there's tables. At the- she, she didn't even say it in Chundemma, like the respect tone. She speaks yeah. it in a Panma. Exactly. The half language. Yeah. The casual she language. She said Gia? Yeah. It was, even for me, I was a little bit shocked. I was like, what the fuck? Like, oh, that's not really. It would have been like okay. if Korean. she can't. Yeah, if she can't really speak Korean, that I get. But th- it's that plus the attitude, attitude. The, the the chewing of the gum, and just the was it factory? Is it a factory? Like I could tell that the couple that were in front of the line looked a little pissed because one, they probably didn't want to be in the basement because there's no sunlight in there. Uh-huh. They wanted to be outside on like the main floor. Um, <laughs> they looked like they were pretending like they didn't understand what she was saying, but she kept being okay, whatever. And so she looks at the next people in line, Gia, Gia, <laughs> and when everyone moved over to the you know B one, she just slammed the door closed. And I'm like, I'm about to fight this girl. Oh my god! Like, who do you think you are? And also being, I'm pretty sure she's Filipino. Being a fellow Filipino, I'm like, you're a disgrace. People always talk about how Filipinos are so nice. Yeah, they'll be nice to you when they want to be nice to you, but not this girl. She always got like looked like someone kicked her dog, like she got a dog and someone kicked it every day apparently. Cause she's always like, and why is she always chewing gums? Why that auntie always has I to? I don't even fucking know. She don't give a shit. Yeah. But uh, we went in and I was like, oh, because we knew there was the only table left is uh, like the terrace table. I was like, oh, is it okay if we sit at the terrace? She's like, mm, terrace. I'm like, okay. Well, if um, but it's not just there. It's Jacoby's Burger, Jacoby, Jacoby Burger, whatever. Oh, the Burger Burger House. In yeah. Near- Similar situation. I think it cha- this it depends. I feel like, but I feel like every time I go, it's usually the same. Like it's always like the same two or three people, but then like there's one that like will kind of change. But it's like okay, one the fucking menu system is so confusing. You're supposed to be able to choose like a menu burger and kind of customize it, but the way it's set up is so fucking confusing. So one, I don't like to order from there, but two. They always have an attitude. Like again, like they have dogs and people kick them. <laughs> is it the, the, the bur- is a burger any good? The burger's just okay. Why would you go then? I don't even know. I don't know why it's popular. To be honest, uh-huh. I'd rather even go to Shake Shack or fucking McDonald's. Uh-huh. But it's a suje boga, which is like oh handmade, Hand, handcrafted hand, burger. handcrafted burger. But it's so mid. It's like, they're I think they're famous for their huge like giant multi layered burger. <gasps> oh, like, it's one of those. Ha- there's a kind of handcrafted burger in Korea, which they layer so many mm-hmm. uh, shit in the one burger, which <laughs> you, you cannot even use your hand. You have to use a fork yeah, and yeah. a knife to uh-huh. eat it. No, but it's like big, big, big. Uh-huh. And it's, it's like a challenge. If you can finish it, you don't have to pay for it. But, oh, I see. Um, they're kind of known for that. But in general, the burgers are just okay. But the attitude that some of these staff have... I mean, Bonnie's pizza, okay. I get, because the pizza's good. But mm. if the, the burgers if the, not even, If the burgers are mid, yeah, why you... Yes. Yeah, so... I don't know. So whenever I go to Bonnie's Pizza or Jacoby's, I go knowing I'm not going to get good service from the the as long the, as the, the Filipino lady is still hired. Mm-hmm, honestly, and, and her dogs are getting kicked every single day. <laughs> oh my God. Well, so if you ever go to Bonnie's Pizza, look out for Shiny Brow Girl. I call her Shiny Brows because those brows they look like they were about to attack me. <laughs> she looked like she was about to. Whoosh. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. <laughs> I mean, you saying that it makes me uh, thank you for dinner. I kind of right? wanna. I mean, it's almost dinner time, so. Yeah, I kind of wanna have pizza for dinner. You go to P- Bonnie's Pizza and check out, see if Miss Shiny Shiny Brows is. <laughs> it's so funny I, when you make I, faces like that. Because I, because I was thinking, I was telling Edward. Um, <laughs> My I, favorite face I, is the one you made when you're like. I was like, what? Because anyway, I, I was thinking about Bonnie's Pizza's Pizza. Because last time mm. I went, I told you three weeks ago, I was with a date. Mm-hmm. And I, I was like eating two pieces and I was I was done. I was Because I was playing, um, you know. Um, Koi? you like, oh, oh yeah. Uh, and Ooh, then she's I'm done. skinny. Yeah. Like, she's skinty. And I, I'm very, very denty. And <laughs> yeah. I was and then in bed, you're an aggressive dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking. Bring no, my fucking hole. No. I'm Mother Teresa when I'm in bed. 
I'm just very holy. What, like just a, a body <laughs> just laying like, there oh, doing the, and then you're singing while holy you're... water and everything. <laughs> he said, "Right I'm, on me I'm in not... bed." <laughs> I thought that's so disgraceful. I would not <laughs> disclose. <Claim laughs> on I was you on the dick. I don't feel comfortable dis- to disclose any uh, further information about how I participate in sexual um, activities. It's just my private <laughs> business. And uh, oh my god! Just based on all the reviews of the, the men that mm. I received, um, mm. they were happy. So. Why would you? Why just uh, mind your own business? No, I should be taking notes, honey. I should be taking notes from you, to be honest. Well, in that case, I have a lot of extra skills that I can share, but uh, oh. not in front of the camera. That's a whole episode in itself. Yes, um, Group and tips. we should char- charge for a membership. Yeah, that, well, that'll be our well, Patreon well, for more exclusive <laughs> content. <laughs> uh, instead of those, you know, those uh, finance bros <laughs> that are like. Sign up for my, sign up oh for my, my class. It's I'm just your, a bunch of like. I'm your best Wall Street, Wall Street girlies, and here's how I. <laughs> that Chinese girl. Oh my god, you saw her. That's you. I'm like, yes. oh girl, you're trying so hard. Yeah. Girl, yeah. I, I don't even know you. Why, why, why are you my favorite uh, Wall Street girl? Mm. Like, mm. I don't really care about what she's talking about, but I love the way she delivers the information. Yes. I'm just like, okay, girl, mm-hmm. I get you. But then all the, comments, she- all the comments are roasting her. Uh-huh. They're like, I work in finance and this does not make sense. Well, I'm just like, I don't fucking know. Well, I you know I work in fashion, so I wouldn't know. All I know mm. is textile and hey. sizes, and f- all I know is whether you're spring light or deep dicks. winter. <laughs> you really need to um, let that go. Yeah, like uh, I've been getting a lot of dark winters lately, including me. Not you. Oh, because I, I, like I, I said, I followed your um, mm. bounce beauty. Uh, a lot of them are dark winters. Instagram, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, recently, I uploaded one. The girl in it, I talked about on the show on Double D once. I got scared because Songji, the young that runs that, he was like, because the, there's like the co- the heart, the likes, the comments, and then the share, the little paper airplane uh-huh. symbol. And it shows how many times it's been shared, but apparently people have been sharing it. He's like, well, apparently this video, a lot of people are sharing it, but that makes me nervous. It's like sharing it to do what? Like, oh, you should go to Bounce Beauty. Or is it like, oh, talking but, shit, like what the fuck did you do to her face? But um, I think she came out real pretty. She looks so pretty Yeah, she makeup. looks really pretty. Yeah. Oh, I like all the work you've mm. done. Um, and every, you know, if people leave um, a negative review on it mm-hmm. just to share with someone, bad publicity is still publicity, so. That's true. Mm-hmm. Kunde, it doesn't sit well in my heart. I'd be so upset. There's nothing negative to say about the makeup look transformation. Mm. Although I will say, you know, although criticism can be really annoying or really like upsetting it does help me it does help you improve obviously of course um, yes also a lot of uh idols as well my, my friend was telling me like yeah a lot of idols you know it's like they'll read comments and they basically get like mental stress because of all the hate comments mm-hmm. but it helps them improve either whether it's their appearance or their dancing or singing i think it's the deliverance if it was constructive criticism I think that's fine, but yes. the way some people deliver information is crazy sometimes. It's too aggressive. Yeah, and it does not work. Yeah, it really depends. Got a From- sandwich, bro. Sandwich. Compliment. Criticism. Compliment. <laughs> Right, <laughs> you're really good at, at this. But that's I think that's the case for most things, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's how uh, I, how I feel like you're doing it to me when you attack me. You give me a comment for a compliment first. I just give you uh, uh, all three actors. <laughs> you're fucking ugly. You're a fucking spring light. You're not a fucking deep inner. Mm-hmm. No compliments there. <laughs> Okay, again, like I said, your sub might be deep when winter, I, so it's when okay. I cut my wrist and jump into the river, you're gonna leave a note saying it's your fucking fault, Edward Avila. I will let the world know. I will live stream. With, I'll take a photo on my story and be like, "LOL." <laughs> the world is uh, gone with one less bitch, and then a quieter place. And it won't cleaner. be double D anymore. It'll just be D, <laughs> single D. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be nice, everyone? Okay. I wonder who who we replace you with. Either of us, who would we for you? We are not replaceable, either. Not. My, I don't in, think in this so. weird, funny situation, who would you be replaced? Because I also feel weird when I'm watching like a Katya and Trixie like podcast or like a show, and sometimes one of them will have to be out for scheduling reasons. It always feels weird. Mm. And I almost don't want to watch it, mm. right? But it's like all the other shows. If uh, one of the original members is missing, Get, uh-huh. especially we only have two members in this yeah. show. Members. I mean, like two. Um, yeah, so yeah, double D, Mida. Yeah, people who co- her, com- her composition of the show. Yeah. And one is missing. That's like fifty percent. And how could you? You could never. Yeah. I don't think so. And I, it's like when Wendy Williams. 
when she they all got a new host like a completely different person i was like what oh oh the the the, the lady the, i was using my videos yes, for yes, memes. yes 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 yeah, yes when she got sick and she had to step down from the show at some point they tried to replace her with another woman it, it it's will not never the work. same yeah and that's a one person show <laughs> right and it's not even her but name it's the most stupid idea like yeah. replacing a show named after that person yeah. and then temporarily yeah. found someone else to mm. that's just Mm. They, they, I'd rather just um, use an AI version of me and play on screen and then ask Honestly, the same person to, to dub it. I'm about to like put in your audio, your because we we record this audio separately. I'm about to export all your audio separately, put it into a fucking AI generator, <laughs> and just basically basically make a Siri out of you. And maybe we can have a conversation then. We'll put you into Chat ChatGPT. How about yeah, that? Yeah, and all you all you uh, ask the ChatGPT to say uh, is, uh, "I am a whore. Um, I'm <laughs> dumb." I really feel like that's what the ChatGPT would <laughs> get. That's the information. I'm a dumb, slutty whore. Edward's son. That is in, that works in fashion. I, that works in fashion. I deserve to to burn in eternity hell. And at this point, you can just take you can you know the like AI generated images and you can animate pictures now. Do you do that where it's moving the the mouth? Um, and that's a lot because uh, I I used to do Billy Billy, a, a Chinese oh God, YouTube, Billy, Billy, yeah. a Chinese YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people are doing previously, three three four years ago. <laughs> Virtual oh live broadcast, but they only put on like their AI mm -hmm. or their illustration on it, mm -hmm. and their mouth is moving. That's how they do their 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 broadcast. But they don't show the, up. But the audio is them talking. Yeah, actually, yes. I mean, that's what VR. Tubers do now, right? Yes. Uh, they just stream, but they have like a capture, motion capture things. Mm -hmm. We should do that. You just have one whole episode where it's just VR. That, that sounds expensive to have one fucking episode of Double D and uh, just VR. We could use the, you know, the, the Apple. Oh, the, the, the emoji things? Yes. What? Do you have one? No. Oh, oh I, like, did I make one? Yeah. No, I didn't. I made one. It doesn't look like me. I don't think they look like anybody. Uh, have you tried the AI portraits which you pay i've never tried money. i know I it was a trend but i'm like girl i'm not spending money on that shit i i just made a real version mm -hmm. my little schoolboy. oh the like, why American. would i why would i make an ai version i could just do it in real life i for I, free i did it once but it doesn't look like me so i don't know remember the, the christmas one that happened this last year oh i there was like that. the running away santa uh -huh. and like the, the first of all first of all it was the um the american high school mm -hmm. pictures and yeah. then it becomes the the, the christmas mm -hmm. version i'll tell you off camera when people use those ai photos for their tinder pictures that's crazy I, because I, they'll keep those as the front ones and then in the back is just the regular pictures yes. and i'm just like babes why would you use ai photo for your dating app <sighs> that's profile that's, that's so upsetting that's insane that's insane i would never do that you're just setting yourself up for failure that's the red flag mm -hmm. i will immediately that's like you know how people taking body profiles mm -hmm. anyone who has a body profile in a body profile in korea is like um a specific photo that you took and uh, after you you do an extensive um access mm -hmm. period of like it's kind of, of like your work yeah and then it's like a really hot body yeah but they always like died extremely before those photos yes and the second they're done taking those photos they eat regularly and their body goes back to a normal shape mm -hmm. but some people do keep keep it but mm. the thing is for me, that is a red flag too. Like people with their body profile, it just it, a lot of these it gives people, this. Uh, uh huh. I feel like a lot of the, what I've heard from people is that they have no time for anyone. So if they're in a relationship, yes, babe, it's over. Yeah, because all they do because when you go out to eat, you can, they can't eat because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I'm being on date. Like when I try they're to on a diet, yeah, yes. when I even just hang out for coffee with a friend that uh, is do, is prepared for a body profile, he can't even have coffee or anything because he's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I can only have water. I'm like, what? And they, they lose energy, so they're like they're like you at the end of one of these episodes. They're like, oh. so it's like this is never for what and one Instagram photo. Very good, Edward. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I I can understand that they're doing it for themselves, but I don't know. Just the logistics of it. I'm like, you take the one photo, which by the way, they're all from the same studio, so they all look exactly the same. Yes, girl, take someone else's photo and put your fucking Photoshop your face on there. How about that? So body profile mm. and AI mm. generated um, profiles are for me a huge red flags. Mm. I just want something natural. I, just don't like, I don't like what it does to the person and their being. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's sad. Mm -hmm. They look dehydrated and hungry <laughs> and just tired. Like, what is that? Mm. Anyway. Uh, sometimes they do look good in real life. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, um, I do agree that if you're on a constantly very strict diet and then you have to go to the gym like two, three hours 
every single day, mm -hmm. then you you have no time for for a relationship. Yeah, or friendships even. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. anyway, maybe we're just too needy, Edward. Hmm? Maybe we're just too needy. Mm, probably. Maybe that's why we're single. Mm. But it's okay. Yeah, I think being Edward, single is awesome. Edward. We're gonna be lesbians, and we're just gonna end up. If we're like in home day dancing, not just that we're gonna be we're gonna marry each other. Yeah, you know when you make a pact with your girlfriend, you're like, if we don't find, find husbands, a husband, we, we're let's just marry each other. Like one or fifty or something, mm -hmm. just for marital benefits, mm -hmm. anyway. for pensions and everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Except oh, we're well. both we're both boys, so <laughs> we don't got anything. <laughs> there will be one day that I will get married. Um, I will. You know, I'm a hopeless romantic. You are. You really yeah. well. I'm a hopeless romantic. I, like, I think you like the concept of being a hopeless romantic, but you actually aren't one. Just like I like the concept of being a Christian. Yeah, exactly. Which but the second you either enter a church or the second you have opportunity for a relationship, you're already like. <sighs> okay, I I love being in a relationship. It's just that uh, I have so much disappointment in men. Mm. Have you ever thought maybe, maybe you're the problem? Edward? I'm never the problem in order. Really? I'm never the, the man that I met. The first problem is the first problem, Edward, is always recognizing you have a problem. No, I have no problems. So I'm perfect. No sense. The first step to fixing a problem is recognize you have one. I'm loyal. I'm good at cooking. Yeah, I if have, you meet someone that's tall, rich, handsome, I, 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 uh, you know, is basically a block. I, I just, um, yeah. What? Okay, I'm done. I need to pee. Bye. Are you serious? We're done? Yes. We've been filming for over 50 minutes. I'm uh, done, sis. Bye. Um, have a good day, everyone. And um, 